Hi everyone, it's Abby with The Bead Place and beadplace.net and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a fun, quick and easy pair of knotted earrings using cotton cord and a beautiful Tierra Cast Swarovski Crystal Drop Charm. All the materials that we're using today can be found in a kit at beadplace.net. You can find a link for that in the description of this video. You can also find the materials individually as well as all the tools that we're using for this project. Before we get started, I'd just like to remind you to please give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel out. And make sure to leave a comment down below and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. While you're subscribing, make sure to click that bell icon and that turns notifications on for our channel, which means that YouTube will notify you anytime we post new content like this. If you'd like to support our channel even further, what you can do is check out our merch, which you can find beneath this video. There's cool new t-shirts, hoodies, and tote bags. And then you can also check out the Patreon link in the description of this video. Patreon is just a fun way to support our channel through a monthly subscription. Patreon members receive fun perks and benefits like a private Facebook group and quarterly giveaways as well as sneak peeks to upcoming videos. Let's take a look at the materials that we'll need. The materials that we're using today are 18 inches of waxed cotton cord. We also have two of these beautiful Swarovski crystal cushion drop tear cast bezel charms. We have four of our medium oval jump rings, a pair of matching French wire earring findings, and then we have some glue. You can use really any type of glue that you wanna use. I have some E6000 here but it's totally up to you what you use. Let's take a look at the tools that we're using. The tools we'll be using today are scissors and two chain nose pliers. The chain nose pliers are jewelry making tools that have a pointed tip and a smooth surface to the inside of the plier nose. Our first step is to attach one of our oval jump rings into the loop of one of our crystal charms. Now, anytime you're opening and closing a jump ring, you wanna make sure to open and close it in this direction and never in this direction. And that way you're sure to get it closed back into its original position and shape. So what we're gonna do is take our jump ring and hold it so that the break of the jump ring is at 12 o'clock. We're gonna bring one of our chain nose pliers in sideways and one of our pliers in up and down like this. And then we're gonna open it sideways like that. We're going to, ah, we're gonna attach our charm into that jump ring and we're gonna go in and close it, taking care to close it all the way so that there's no breaks that we can see anywhere and adjust it if need be. Our next step is to find the center of our cotton cord by folding it in half. And then we're going to cut it in half using scissors. Starting with one of the nine inch cuts of the cotton cord that we just made, we are going to string the jump ring of the crystal charm. And we are going to bend the end up slightly and bring the long end up and then back down into a very tiny figure eight. So this should be a very, very, very small figure eight, as small as we can get it to be really. We wanna still be able to see through the loop to have a little bit of movement, but not much movement beyond just being able to kind of wiggle around freely. So now what we're gonna do is hold this tight in one hand, and we're gonna take the other tail end, the long side, and we are going to bring it up right around that crystal charm. And now this is kind of one of those things where, um, you know, you kind of have to hold it so you're not able to really see what's happening, but I'm gonna do my best to show you exactly what I'm doing. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're going to make a loop around the charm here, and then we're going to knot or 
kind of spiral around this area here with this longer cord. So this is a barrel knot and how we are going to do that is we are going to start wrapping the end around and down towards the charm. Now I'm probably going to tighten mine a little bit because I want my loop to be a bit smaller. So I'm just going to make this loop a little bit smaller and I'm going to start wrapping again. So I'm going to wrap around that loop there that's at the top and that initial tail end. And we're also wrapping around the larger loop end itself. So I'm going to wrap two to three times. And then what I'm going to do is take this tail end here and I'm going to shove it up through those wraps that I've just made. So this is where these knots get kind of tricky. A lot of people find them to be a little bit difficult to maneuver. Um, but as long as you kind of master your own tension needs, you're able to get it done. So what I like to do is wrap my first couple of wraps pretty tight, not so tight that I know I'm not going to be able to get it through, but tight enough that it's going to hold everything in place. And then I just work the tail end up through those loops. Now I can do this with my fingers. I prefer to do it with my fingers. Um, but if you want to use tweezers or your pliers to help you with that, you're welcome to. But just work it through all of those coils that we've just made. And we should have both tail ends coming out of the top. I'll give you a closer look at what we've done so far. So once we're happy with the size of the loops that we've made, what we'll want to do next is attach our earring finding into the loop. The direction of our loop the way that it is is perfect for us to be able to add it directly into most earring findings. However, the thickness of our cord is going to be too thick for the earring findings that we want to use. So we'll have to use a jump ring to attach the loop into our earring finding. But then our earring finding would be sideways. So what we're going to do is change the direction of the loop in our earring finding and I will show you how to do that. So we're going to be using two chain nose pliers to do this and essentially what we're going to do is use our chain nose pliers to grab right on top the loop and then take the other chain nose pliers in and grab the loop. So you want to grab just across the whole loop and give it a twist. So twist until you have a perpendicular angle and then you've successfully changed the direction of your loop on your earring finding. You can make any adjustments that need to be made in order to make it look right but you want to refrain from over adjusting it because with too much movement that earring finding could break. So let's go ahead and add our jump ring into our loop. Now again, anytime we're opening and closing jump rings, we wanna make sure we're opening and closing them like this. And that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to hold that break of the jump ring at 12 o'clock, just like we did before. Open that jump ring using our other chain nose pliers. We're gonna hook it right into the loop that's on the top of our earring and then into the earring finding itself, making sure that everything is in the correct direction. We're gonna go in and close that jump ring. Make sure it's closed all the way. There we go. And then I like to rotate the um, opening of the jump ring to the back. And now, what you think we're going to do most likely is trim those tail ends, but, but, but what I'm going to have you do is make the other earring first and then trim the tail ends. You always want to do the matching earring first before you trim. Um, and then that way it's a lot easier to adjust things so that they are perfectly even. So I'm going to make the other earring quickly, come back to you and show you how to finish everything off.
All right, so I have knotted two earrings that are pretty close to being perfect uh, matches. And so what I'm gonna need to do now is trim these tail ends. So how I like to do that is I like to kind of pull them out a little bit more than what they need to, to um, be. And then take my scissors in very close and trim. Make sure you're only trimming the spot that you need to trim and carefully trim. Then what I'm gonna do to kind of get rid of this and tuck it down is I'm going to kind of gently tug on everything around it and kind of let it sink down into place. So I'm going to do the same thing to this side. I'm gonna pull on it a little bit and notice um, where that uh, where that give is coming from and then trim it really close and pull it back down. Now you don't want to pull it down beyond the first loop. Um, you want to make sure that it is right up at the top here and then what we're gonna do is apply the smallest amount of glue. Now glue is 100% necessary for this project. You wanna make sure that you are only using a small amount though, because we don't want it to be very visible. So just a little bit of glue right on the top of the knot there. And we're gonna repeat that on the other side. So our last step is to make sure that everything is sitting exactly the way it should. So twist your loops to the right angle if they're wanting to kind of sit funny. Um, tighten any of those last minute knots. Make sure you're not gonna pull those tail ends out. Uh, make sure they are all perfectly the same size before that glue dries. And then we have a beautiful finished pair of knotted earrings. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video. Please remember to give us a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel out. If you have any questions or if you'd just like to say hi, you can leave a comment down below. I do my best to respond to everyone's comments. And please remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. That way you can see all of our cool new upcoming content. And make sure to turn the notification bell on. That way YouTube notifies you whenever we post new content. If you want to see more of what we have going on, you can check out our social media links down below. We're on Facebook and Instagram. We're always posting fun new stories. And if you'd like to support our channel even further, you can check out our new merch underneath the video. Um, you can also check out our Patreon link um, which, like I said before, is just a fun way to support our channel. So like I said, thank you so much for watching this video. We really appreciate your support.